just keep it keep it tight you know keep it keep it clean we got 30 seconds to do one percent cocoon you i cocoon the wrong person because my mouse doesn't want to work and we kill it oh my god i'm never coming back here ever again great job Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you a plus 26 rise after the nerfs. There were some health nerfs. We got it in the last 30 seconds. And I thought we kept it pretty clean as well. So, I don't know. It's still a tight timer. Uh, as far as talents go, my talents don't change. I ac I accidentally played Yulon's Grace instead of Diffuse Magic. So, I would still recommend uh, going Diffuse Magic. Yulon's Grace is decent, but um, just being able to have that damage reduction is really nice. On the right side, again, nothing too crazy. Again, just... GG doing damage to heal. As far as my damage goes, I just got the belt, the the trinket that does AOE damage from the the Taylor Swift boss, and it absolutely cranks. It had a normal hit for a million, so yeah, it's my top damage. It's freaking insane. I use it off cooldown essentially, uh, followed by spinning crane kick and rising sun kick. Now spinning crane kick for big pulls, and then rising sun kick for that single target damage in between spinning crane kicks. Healing, um, Shaylin's gift gets I don't know. Uh, my healing is it's been i don't know how gusta is seeing its way up there but shaylin's gift to ancient teachings are my top healing essentially so that is pretty much it if you have any questions at all please let me know i am more than happy to answer any questions you might have and that is it for me hope everyone's a fantastic rest of your day hope you enjoy the video i'll see you later i think my mouse is dying i hope my mouse doesn't die in this key yo what's going on everybody this is a 26 rise and uh i'm gonna be honest with you it's been a long time since i've been here i I hate this key. I, I really do. But they just nerfed it, and I need it on a 26. So. Um, it's four. I also got a new trinket. It does like 2 million damage every time I use it. So. Rub these guys out of the dome. If you stand in this dome, you actually take less damage as well. So it's pretty good. Um. I don't know how to explain this dungeon because, like, there's a lot going on with this place. Um, it's Fort. I don't know. What the other, I'm going to be honest with you. I just know it's Fort Week. So. You want to kick the volley. This this ability right here, you want to kick it. And then you incap this, the Incorporal. Okay. I'm trying to. <laughs> incap this. Oh, I don't have incap. Kick that. Ooh, good. Good. That pretty much wipes the um oh it's sanguine too. That's why it's so hard to find like tanks. <laughs> but yeah, we're just spinning to win right now. <clears throat> That's pretty much it. Um and Rop is really good for like knocking ads out of the sanguine. This guy is standing in it and he loves the sanguine. So Oh. My bad there. Yeah, I don't know how hard this dungeon is going to be with the Sanguine. I know there's a lot of trash on this first platform, and then I'm just going to incap this. And the last platform, or the next the platform after this first boss, so. I don't know. They nerfed health on people, though, right? I'm pretty sure. So. This one is the hardest mini boss, I would say. She has AoE damage, then she has like an orb, and the orb like pretty much one shots you. So just don't get hit by that orb. So you could probably stand this and live, but she just faces in the direction that uh, she's going to send it. Shane's gift here. Wrap, wrap him out of that. Yeah, and then she has AoE damage. The Orb of Contemplation, by the way, whichever, it bounces back, so you kind of want to bait it to, like, the furthest wall, if that makes sense. I don't want our microphones being like this. There we go. Orb, dodge it. Oh, she loves the Sanguine. Loves the Sanguine. <laughs> Come on, big girl. All right, Jesus. And we're just going to keep pulling trash, which is fair, but I'm kind of scared because, like, that's more sanguine, so you know what I mean. My oh, my mouse is definitely going down for sure, during this dungeon or or after. I right. kept this. Oh, nice, good. We're doing pretty good. I mean, we're doing 
I dispel that. It definitely feels different. Like, oh, boom. Nice, good. Send the staff as well, just a killer. Oh my lord. Yeah, that's like the worst one right there. It's just a lot of avoiding, a lot of AoE damage. It's so painful. Um, you can't, the first boss doesn't like happen until you kill all three. So. I wonder if there's ever, I wonder if we ever see this in like the MDI and like there's a group that pulls all three. I feel like there's no chance, but it'd be interesting when that I'm going to in-cap this. Can I sweep that? Can I kick this? No. I need someone to do something about that. Anyone want to do anything about this? Not one. No. Nothing. Okay. Well. Interesting. <laughs> and yeah, this is this is this this week is better than last week. I can tell you that. Last week was absolutely miserable. Like I did not have kick this. I did not have an ounce of fun last week. I think I did two twenty sixes and called it a week. So <laughs> Yeah, I was not having any fun. This guy doesn't do much. Just make sure you kick when he does the binding grasp. Um, after he does the shrouding sandstorm, um, make sure you just kick it. Uh, there were some people are saying it's the healer's role to do that. I, I feel like I and then avoid like this. I, I kind of disagree. I mean, everyone has a kick now, right? So I don't know. It's kind of weird. P people kind of weird. Like, um, I guess we're pulling this extra trash. That's cool. I don't know if we're pulling that trash with it over here or not. Um, but that's interesting. All right. I mean, I haven't pulled this trash from down there. So I, I'm just, these guys literally are doing nothing. Um, I think we're just kind of just chilling, waiting for the boss to... start i'm a trinket boom dude i freaking love this trinket like i feel bad because there were like four other monks that like really wanted this trinket and i won it and i don't know i feel bad you know but you know The damage is insane. The damage is freaking insane, I swear. You kept that. Be healing. <clears throat> nice, good. Yeah, so this boss just um pretty much just dodge the frontals and dispel those debuffs uh separately. And then here you're just trying to soak orbs before they get to the middle pillar. Um, the balls, I'm pretty sure they give haste. I'm pretty sure it's haste. So. I'm going to dispel that and then I'm going to Chigi here. Wall this. Nice. And cap this. Nice, good. All right, pretty good. And then I think we did, I, I think it was partially my fault, but this uh, infinite annihilation, you want to try to make sure everyone stays on like the outer edge and bait it towards the edge. That way um, the middle of the pillar doesn't get like covered in this gold. Okay. Hopefully we only have one more phase of this. <clears throat> My mouse is actually dying. All right. Anyone? A crumb faced? You kept that? All right, dispel myself. Shaylin's gift here. Anyone got a CC for that? Anyone? GG here. So then we should be okay. I think eight minutes is fine. 
Divine Strike, everyone stands inside. And we should be okay. Yeah, stay in. Yeah, good. My mouse is, is freaking dying. It's killing me. <clears throat> um, but you can see we're already like 53% done with trash. Like, this place is literally 90% trash, I swear. Boom. I love this ring, I swear. I'm never unequipping it, ever. Revival here. Shaylin's gift as well. This is big AoE damage, so don't be afraid to really, like, use cooldowns on this part. Um, you kill the Mortar... And then martyr. And then kill the dragon. Chigi here. Hopefully it's not in the sanguine. It'd be so nice if it wasn't. Uh, one more tick. Sucks. I actually think it was in the sanguine. I'm pretty sure. Their vote must on me. I need to live and send the Shaylun's gift, maybe. Hopefully we, hopefully we don't have to do that again. But I think we do. Awe is in what five seconds. I have nothing for myself. I got damage. Spell harm. Oh, this poor priest. <laughs> this poor priest just came back. I'll taught him. I'll res him. Oh, your releases. All right. I'm going to drink super quick. I was just out of mana there uh, from the boss fight. So we'll see. All right. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, you, only, you always want to kill the right one. I believe the right one is the one that does AOE damage. Most people will lust on this pull. So just because it's just a lot of damage. But it seems like we're not lusting. Oh, yeah. No, someone's calling for drums. Big damage here. Cocoon. My god. That's scary, huh? A fort brew here. He's taking so much damage right now. Oh my god. Like the most damage. Holy shit. Oh my god. He was. I've. Oh my. It's like he was wearing nothing there. I was doing two. 250,000 HPS. That's crazy. Nice. And now this one just does like pretty much nothing. I mean, it does tank damage. So that's pretty good for us. All right. This one should be dead. And the next part of this dungeon is pretty much the last part of, like, the last trash that we need. There's nothing else to it. I'm just going to try to drink beforehand, though, because um, there's really no stopping, you know. So mana mana's going to get probably a little, a little bit tight, you know, just a little bit. So we're going to just try our best to... Uh, not um and keep our tank alive that's that's pretty much the name of the game here i'm gonna try to do as much damage as i can to make it easy as well just kick this infinite just kick this infinite burn when you can um you know hopefully hopefully your, your team is good with kicks and then yeah I, i've had a lot of tanks do different like routes on this part i, I really don't know what the best the best way is but I tend to just trust them. Bloom, you wanted to dispel it. Oh, I I, didn't, I, for, I forgot there were two that went out. Yeah. Yeah. You dispel the one the deep one that's on the DPS. Nice. Yeah, no, pretty good so far. Incap this. Bloom. Dispel this. And you just kind of crank healing. Oh, shit. I mean, maybe it's me, but I swear the Stephen Hunter takes the most damage. Like, 
It's probably me though. Nice. Okay. All right, we're gonna kick the uh, was it temporal blast for infinite burn? Or I guess kick both, either one. We're gonna send the trinket. Boom. Love it. I freaking love it. Spell this. Good. We should be. I, I see. I don't know what time is looking like here, but I swear we're looking good. This this dungeon is usually like people's last pick to do. No one runs this dungeon, but with like the health nerfs, I mean, it feels like a little better. I don't know. I don't know what people think. I don't think anyone runs rise keys. Like I don't think anyone ever. <laughs> Okay. And I do have Cocoon if we need to. I'll kick that. Incap this. Send the staff. Throwing development staff. I'm going to send the Shaylin's Gift too. I think I've been sitting on Shaylin's Gift a little bit too long here. Nice. Nice. Two quick sip here. Good. Oh, pretty decently sized. Eh, none of these really do anything, to be honest. Yeah, they just explode when they die. It doesn't do that much damage, even on four weeks. So, Manatee here. Let's send Shiji, and then just crank. Oh. Okay. Yeah, see, we're almost on trash, too. Like, where are we at? We're at 80% now. So. We're probably going to use some kind of Viz pod and, uh, like, towards maybe the next boss. Shaylin's Gift here. I think it's that cast getting all, going off. But I, it's not terrible. You know, like, I don't know if it's putting us that far behind. Do damage. Nice. Oh. Chromie. There, there she is. Oh, Chromie. Chromie wasn't stepping up. Okay, we're out. A lot, a lot of walking in the dungeon. But we're about halfway done. We got three bosses. So we got 82% trash. I think there's... I want to say there's 8% trash after before the last boss, so it's not it's not terrible. Um, but let's see what we're doing here. We might pull this trash. We might not. I don't know. Doesn't seem like we're going to. All right. We're just going to Vizpot. I'm, I'm just going to Vizpot. I, you know what I mean? There's a little RP here before Chromie or Morchi. Cool. Um, try to talk the mechanics for Morchi as we uh, as we go. She's got a few. She's got about. Yeah, she's got a few. It's been a while. Though. It's been it's been like two or three weeks since I've done a rise, but I feel like. I feel like I remember him. You know, I mean, stand blast. Just don't stand in front of the boss. Um, more problems. So this is, I believe she turns into dragons around the perimeter. You want to find the one where she doesn't have a hat. Right here. All right. So she doesn't have, everyone else has a hat on and then you need to stand behind the, cause dragon's breath is going to one shot you. Just remember that. Um, sandblast. Just don't stand in front. Sand traps, don't stand in them. That's where you're going to bring the familiar faces. Um, I'm just going to Chiji here. Just put an absorption shield on everybody because this is some pretty pretty heavy AoE damage. Nice. Good grip. Love it. Good. More problems. 
Got to find the dragon without the hat, which is this one right here. I could heal through this too. Yeah. If you want to get rid of yours without CCing, you just run them through the the time traps. So just keep that in mind. I mean, I can heal through it on non-tyrannical. Even on, even on tyrannical, I feel like I can heal through it, to be honest. So... But definitely, you know, if you want to CC or whatever, you know, it's good for, ty for Tyrannical Weeks. So familiar faces again. Or just four per here just because fixated on me. You just run them through the little time thing. Nice fear. More time traps. I'm going to some manatee here. I could heal through it, guys. More problems. So this is the hat right here. Shaylin's gift here. Oh, that's not good. Destabilize all the way over here. Incap it. Be healing. All right, where is this guy dead? Oh, my God. There's more. It's coming again. It doesn't end. Shaylin's gift here. I don't know where this guy's dead. Oh, he's over here. There we go. I'll help you. Maybe it was a bad one, but... All right, well... That boss was going easy the first half, and then it went really poorly. So, <laughs> Jesus. Maybe, hopefully, it doesn't like put us behind too much. I think you could skip this. What the hell? I think I'll just shadow mode, right? Oh my god, I forgot that suit. Oh my god, wait, that's insane. You just run right past it. That's crazy. This trash has a lot. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a three-parter trash. Uh, pretty much this one, you just... Volatile Mortar. You just want to kite if it targets you. You want to run in a straight line away from everybody else. Goblin Sappers are little... They're little goblins. And you could rob them and CC them. So I, I tend to rob them. And then you could sweep them if they're grouped up. And usually by that time they're gone. Yeah. So if your team's like coordinated. Oh, this is on me. So we're getting away from the group. Yeah. In cap one. Goblin snappers again. Just try to get away from them. I love that demon hunters are freaking insane, man. I freaking love it. My mouse is dying. I don't know if you've you, anyone has heard me say it this time, you know, in this dungeon, but my mouse, I can't move it. I, I can barely move my freaking mouse, man. It's killing me. I'll do Chigi on the next trash. But we're doing really good. This is the first group I've ever had that actually uh, killed it without dying. So I'm really proud proud of us. All right, so we got this trash now. Uh, these guys, you want to kick the rallying shout? I feel like you want to kick the rallying shout. I don't think there's anything else really to kick. And then there's going to be, I think it's Consecration, I believe. That is just a massive, you need to get out of it before it even hits the ground. Like, it's just massive. Earthquake, you know, all the, so... I just don't want to. I don't want to. I'm not hitting doing damage right now because I don't want to group up with the rat and the and the warrior and the demon hunter tanks. I don't want to get targeted by it, so I'm trying to like bring it out here. If that makes sense, maybe it doesn't. Maybe maybe I'm bad for it, but I just want my boys to live. You know what I mean? All right, and now we got the boss fight. All right, this guy. This guy. Yeah, he's he's something. He's not terrible, but. He's got he's got a few things we need to pay attention to. Oh, where are we going? Gramash. 
decap de de I don't know, shockwave. You just want to kind of bait to the sides. Just don't stand in front of it, essentially. Just stay grouped with your group. Um, that way you're all grouped up and you're not like freaking out going all over the place. Um, for the horde, you want to kill these ads. I mean, it's pretty pretty simple. Then Bladestorm, you know, if you ever PvP'd, which maybe many people haven't, but you want to get, get away from Bladestorm instantly. Instantly, all right? Throw envelopments on the tank here. Incap that. I feel like I'm in my element now. Now that I'm uh, PvPing. <laughs> um, would love to get a kick on this Destro lock. Should I just send the trinket? I'm doing it. Boom. <laughs> Easy 2 million damage. It's, it's actually insane. It, I, I don't know what trinkets everybody's using. Bladestorm. It, by the way, you can see who's targeted by Bladestorm by the debuff. So if you have you know some kind of debuff add-on. Um, you could easily, or just Blizzard frames. That's what I use. Oh, I feel like that Rop shouldn't have sent that ad that way, but I'm gonna cocoon here, and we're gonna Chigi here as well, and we're gonna recover. Yeah, pretty fairly easily. Roll, in cap, good, good. Blade Storm on the Ret, dispel. Sweep everything. I'm just going to revival everything here, I think. Kind of help my team just recover. Have them focus on damage. Big damage here. We just need to kill these one last time, and we should be okay. Dispel this. I need to cast the Shaylin's Gift, I think. Yeah, good. Blade Storm is gonna hurt. Okay. In cap. Good. I think we should be. Okay. Nice. No release. All right. That's right. We can just uh, go to the last part, right? I'm just gonna invis pod here. Maybe save some time. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it saves a few seconds. So we got eight minutes now. I feel like that should be plenty of time to kind of uh, finish up the last trash and then go to the final boss. So, let's see. Oh, also, this will probably be one of my first videos in 1440p. So, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to, I read that like it's good to do so or to upload and record and upload in 1440. So that's, that's, let me know what, it, how it looks, I guess, you know, um, hopefully it looks good. I don't know if it does or not. I can't, I normally can't really tell. Come on, Chromie. Come on, Chromie. We got six. We got, we got, I don't know how much time we need for the last boss, to be honest. I feel like we need, like, I don't know, four minutes for the last boss. On you, here. This uh, does pretty big AOE damage, kind of similar to the dragons, the infinite fury. So just keep that in mind um, and then avoid the the circles on the ground. It's just a really annoying trash pack. I actually don't even know why it's here. I don't know if there's some lore reason why it needs to be here. Who knows? Hopefully we don't kill it while this is going on because this is going to hurt. I'm going to cocoon the shadow priest because my boy is struggling and I, I, don't, wanna, I don't want him to die again. I don't want him to think I have something against him you know what i mean <laughs> statue here all right we need to get him out before a we in two seconds oh thank god good good i'm probably just gonna revival here good disperse my priest that's fair that's that's a fair trade see how my mouse is shaking i came and target my demon hunter I gotta use a different mouse now. 
And when I say different mouse, I mean like the same mouse, just a different, uh, just a different one of them. The healing, Shaden's gift here as well. This is probably the worst trash pack in the whole freaking dungeon, honestly. Okay, big damage, big damage. AOE one second. I'm just gonna tot it. Yeah, that's we're done with that. All right, we have. It's it's gonna be close, but I actually think we uh. I think we got this. Knock on wood. I'm making sure the priest has orbs. And I'm going to drink super quick here. But we should be okay on like everything, essentially. We just need to kill it. We have four minutes. And I think four minutes on non-tyrannical should be in, should be good enough. We don't have lust for this boss, but I think that's okay. Um and throw an envelope miss on the tank and then we just start cranking really. Nice. Let's see let's see if four minutes is enough. I don't know. We also have lust in three, so uh, there's gonna be some AOE damage from the orbs. Um what you want to do is you want to make let one drop recover and then let the second one drop. But I'm not on the orbs. Usually it's just the the range DPS that can do it. So dispel the debuff. I think it still hurts on Tyrannical, so you kind of want to dispel it as fast as you can. Good. I think that was one orb that dropped, so the second one's gonna fall. Yep. Felt missed here. Felt missed here. And just start doing and just keep doing damage. And then I also have my Onyx Trinket that I am absolutely obsessed with. So, Dispel. Do I send it? I'm sending it. Boom. All right. Nine Stacker of Shadow's Gift here. Good. More orbs. Dispel. Oh, the, the debuff ticked the same time that the thing went off. The orb went off. So, you can run into that. Uh, just be careful. I kind of want to... Should I just Chigi here and just throw an Envelope Mist out and then just crank damage? Oh, he flies away as soon as I start doing damage. All right. Revival everything. I can't dispel that, which is a little... It's going to get a little weird. I have Shadow's Gift. Good, good, good. Love that MD. Oh, oh, my God. I might love this. I might... I just want to give a big kiss on the forehead to this uh, Shadow Priest. All right, seven, 12 stacker here of Manatee. So we're just going to... I think you kind of want to stack... Because you get um, swirls on you. So I'm just going to follow the team. Follow the team. Do our best. There we go. All right. Throw an Envelope Mist on the tank here. Um, I think there's still orbs in this phase as well. I'm pretty sure. So just keep that in mind. But this room can get messy fast. So definitely want to stay as stacked when you can. Shaylin's Gift here. Just because I know I'm not going to be able to... GG here, so everyone gets a shield. I really like the Chi Cocoon shield from Chi i I'll use that a lot before like AoE damage goes out, just to like lessen the blow from uh from it. I right, one went off. That's fine. Where I had Chi G up, so one orb's gonna fall again. This is when it gets awkward though. Okay. And we have less than 15. So. You can cap this. We're doing pretty good. Should I just on use? Boom. Shaylin's gift here. Shaylin's gift here. Good. Nice. We lust. We have a minute to do 5%. Okay, GG here. We should be able to recover from this orb pretty pretty easily. Just keep it keep it tight, you know. Keep it keep it clean. We got thirty seconds to do one percent. Cocoon you. I cocoon the wrong person because my mouse doesn't want to work. And we kill it. Oh my god, I'm never coming back here ever again. 
Great job.